How's it going? Well, first year, how's how's your first OSU homecoming? Oh my gosh, homecoming was amazing. Um, you know, when I got hired, everyone kept trying to tell me how cool it was and um, what to expect, and I really just couldn't wrap my head around it. But after going through it, I get it now. Um, I've never experienced anything like it. It was really special. How terrifying was it standing on the bandstand? <laughs> yeah, I was a little nervous that I was going to fall over. Um, but uh, that was really cool as well. So, yeah. And cheering with the, the sorority mm -hmm. before the homecoming hoops, mm -hmm. that? So fun. I just, I love our Greek life here. Um, they've just been amazing and embraced me um, in every way. And I just want them to know how much I appreciate them. And anything I can do for them to give back, um, I certainly want to do. So I had a great time with them. I know you've talked about it before, but your depth is is pretty expanding. You got a lot of seniors. Mm -hmm. and kind of talk about your depth a little bit. More. Yeah, um, it's a beautiful thing, right? When you can have depth and balance, and um, I just love the way that our team is competing right now, and um, you can really see that depth coming through um, every practice. Different players find a way to stand out um, on both ends of the floor, and I think it's really going to be helpful for us as we move forward throughout the season. What does Taryn Milton bring to this team? Taryn Milton brings a lot. Um, first and foremost, she just brings an experience and a poise that um, our team really needs. Um, her length at that point guard spot is really, I think, going to be crucial for us on both ends of the floor. Um, but I would just go back to her experience for us and um, just the leadership that she brings, kind of a, a quiet leadership, but um, always one by example that we really need. Taylor Collins. I know you got it. Uh, Taylor Collins is a player that obviously was, was a holdover. What has yeah. stood out to you in your first time getting to see her? Yeah, I mean, every time I talk about Taylor, I just go back to her athleticism. She is as athletic as any player I've ever coached. Um, you know, she'll have random practices where she jumps up and almost dunks it, um, and it's just so effortless for her. So um, it's been fun for me as a coach to figure out how I can utilize that athleticism, and um, it's been so fun watching her um, add to her skill set now, you know, so just being more than an athlete, but adding her skills to that. And um, she's really grown, I think, since last season um, as far as her skill set goes. Your offensive plan is obviously different than, than what was here mm -hmm. before. How does uh, how does her athleticism play into what you can do? With well, we want to play fast, and uh, we want to score as quick as possible. Um, and with her speed and ability to get up the floor um, and then allow us to kind of um, stretch the defense around her is just really crucial for the way that we want to play. How did your what, I guess a, a week away from, uh, from yeah. getting on the floor for yeah. an exhibition. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel things are, are coming together in terms of what you're going to put out? Yeah, really coming together. Um, I can't say I felt like that until really probably this week, <laughs> to be honest. You know, and coaches, we always think that we have so much to work on. Um, and we still do, but I felt yesterday in practice like, all those, all those lights are starting to come on for our kids, and they're starting to gel and really get it figured out. As far as your approach, not only exhibition but early season games, mm -hmm. um, are you the type that likes to kind of tinker with with rotations and, and those type of things, or what's your yeah? Theory on that? I mean, we're still trying to figure that out. Um, just we've had some things out of our control. Um, no major injuries by any means, but just little, you know, bumps and bruises here and there that um, have not really allowed us, I think, to get the rhythm that we want in terms of our lineups. Um, but again, that goes back to our depth and the balance that we have, that it might look different um, every night, and we're okay with that, and I think our kids are really bought into that. I noticed Anna Gret has a food on her leg. Will she be available next week for the yeah. exhibition? Yeah, she will. Yep. Yeah. Overall, like, how will you measure success as the season goes on? I think we're going to measure success just um, in terms of us getting better at what we want to do game in and game out, um, you know, we're really focused on um, not the end product or the results um, necessarily in terms of wins and losses. Um, obviously, we, we want to win, you know, all of our players came here to win, I came here to win. Um, but in this fir first year, especially just improving every day and uh, measuring um, results in terms of who we were yesterday and who we are today. Yeah. You know, how are the girls and yourself ready for this first game? I, it can't come soon enough. I feel like we've been practicing for two years. I feel like our team probably feels like they've been practicing for five years at this point. So we're just so ready to get out there and 
uh, play against somebody other than ourselves, other than our scout team. Um, I just I can't wait to take the floor for the first time. Anyone else? Okay. Awesome. Okay, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you, thank you. you always. Of course. Thanks, Jason.